But first, hello, I'm John Bachman. French officials now say six members of a terror cell may still be at large after last week's Paris terror attacks. And one of those terrorists may even be driving a car registered to the widow of one of those slain attackers. The car belongs to the woman you see right here. Authorities have identified her as 26-year-old Hayat Boumamadine. Turkish officials say she was in Turkey five days before the killings and confirm that she did enter Syria last week on the same day her husband killed a police officer in Paris. The White House is monitoring the social media breach at U.S. Central Command today by pro-ISIS hackers, but the Obama administration doesn't seem to be too concerned. Uh, there's a pretty diff significant difference between um, what is a, um, a large data breach uh, and the hacking of a Twitter account. Also, CENTCOM's YouTube page apparently was hacked as well. The Pentagon is downplaying the hack. They say the breach does not appear to be a serious security threat at this time. But according to the hackers, they've accessed Pentagon networks and claim they have retrieved sensitive information belonging to U.S. soldiers and their families. CENTCOM's YouTube page, as you mentioned, also hacked. ISIS, ISIS sympathizers posted two videos belonging to the terror group, and now Central Command social media pages have been temporarily suspended. The White House also today admitting it goofed by not sending a top-level official to this weekend's Unity March in Paris. Earlier today on Newsmax TV, Harvard Law Professor Alan Dershowitz called the president's no-show a blunder. I just don't understand. This is a, a, a smart group of people. You would think at the very least they would send the vice president, but... Uh, they didn't do that, and uh, there's been a lot of reaction. Well, Secretary of State John Kerry, who was in India at the time, says he'll travel to Paris later this week. He's meeting with French officials to talk about combating Islamic extremism. The president and our administration have been coordinating very, very closely with the French on FBI matters, intel, law enforcement. Well, Kerry says the U.S. will provide France with any assistance necessary today. The Secretary of State, as you mentioned, arrived in Pakistan for an unannounced meeting with the Prime Minister there. The U.S. is pressing Pakistan's leadership to step up its fight against Islamic terrorism. And back here in the U.S., New York City launches those municipal ID card programs today aimed at giving illegal immigrants access to a lot of city services. What's beautiful about it is what it stands for. It stands for everyone being respected, everyone being included, everyone having opportunity. That's what we believe in. This card epitomizes the values of this city. Well, Mayor Bill de Blasio touted his ID program and says it also helps the elderly, homeless, and transgender community. Netflix continues its win streak at the Golden Globes. The media streaming company was nominated for seven different categories for original content. Kevin Spacey winning Best Actor for his TV drama role in House of Cards, which premieres, by the way, on February 27th. Another update for you in 30 minutes.